because I've been really worried about your, you know, your job. Mary is a 38-year-old mother of two. Unlike most people who experience moderate amounts of anxiety at times, she worries constantly and her concerns can be quite dramatic. No, it's really stressing me out. I just don't want him to go out. I, I know something's going to happen. I just have a bad, bad feeling about it. And I know that... Her anxiety can arise when nothing seems to provoke it and can cover a wide range of worries. Honey, how did your job go today? Did they say anything about the layoffs? Mary has generalized anxiety disorder. Though common in many medical settings, generalized anxiety disorder remains one of the least researched of the anxiety disorders. Before the 1980s, generalized anxiety disorder wasn't really recognized. It was oftentimes mislabeled as a, a sort of a neurosis by physicians, typically. And oftentimes before, especially in the 70s and the 60s, um, it, it was oftentimes just perceived as uh, something that happens to people uh, who are under a lot of stress and who may be wrestling with medical complications, for instance. What happened at your job today? I mean... Because I've been really worried An about essential it, you know. feature of generalized anxiety disorder is that the anxiety and worry cannot be attributable to the more focused distress of other anxiety disorders like panic disorder, social phobia, or obsessive compulsive disorder. Besides the job, there's the kids, and I don't know which is worse. You know, and then there's the finances. I'm worried that Rob's going to lose his job, and then what are we going to do about the... Rather, as the name implies, the excessive worries often pertain to many areas and may include work, relationships, finances, the well-being of one's family, potential misfortunes, and impending deadlines. It becomes very surprising when you ask a person with generalized anxiety disorder the amount of time that they spend worrying. And it's incredible sometimes. It keeps people up at night, it bothers them at work, it bothers them at home. And lots of times we see that the worry isn't productive as well. It, it actually doesn't solve any problems for them. They're just spinning a broken record. As with all of the anxiety disorders, there are specific criteria established in the DSM to define what constitutes generalized anxiety disorder. I don't know, it just seems like I've been this way for a long time. and As long as I've known you. One criterion is that the excessive anxiety and worry occurs more days than not for at least six months about a number of events or activities such as work or school performance. The fact that I, I can't sleep at night. The second criterion is that the person finds it difficult to control the worry. Maybe you're right, Mary. Maybe if you can't get a handle on it, you need to get some help. You know, somebody else might be able to shrug off the fact that um, the lawn needs mowing and they're going to get to it on the weekend, somebody who has generalized anxiety might fret about that for hours on a day when they know that they really can't do anything about it.